Should the Detroit Lions go after Muhammad Wilkerson, who's been recently released by the New York Jets? This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. Yo, this is what I think about this. Muhammad Wilkerson has been a bust for the last two years. He got this big time contract in 2016. He posted up monster numbers in 2000, in 2015. The dude recorded like 12 sacks, a whole bunch of like tackles. He was a monster, you know? He spent a lot of time in New York. As soon as he got that big time big time contract, I believe it was like 86 million with like 53 million guaranteed money. After that, the dude has been a bust. This past year, he only recorded like three sacks. Like he was, he's been benched. Um, some say he's been benched because of um, illnesses, but he's been inconsistent. But we know what he can do. Like he's a top, definitely a top talent. And the Detroit Lions need pass rushing. They really do, big time. The dude can play defensive end, and you can move him. He's strong enough and big enough to play. The defensive tackle position. So do the Detroit Lions consider a guy like this? Well, in my opinion, why not? Because even though he's been a bust for the last two years, we still know what he can do. And if we can somehow get him on a, you know what, a fix it contract, prove it contract where you prove to us that, you know what, you still got something left in the tank. We still, you know, you can, you can still ball out. Hey, we'll give you fix it, change, and you prove it to us, and then we'll pay him down the road. But right now, I'm not sure if Muhammad Wilkerson is trying to get paid big time. Again, he just came off a big time contract. But if the Detroit Lions can manage to get this guy for cheap, I'm all for it. But with us recently signing or franchise tagging Ziggy Ansa, who's about to make $17 million or more just on that franchise tag this year. We had, without that franchise tag, we had $44 million, um, in free agency to, to just to pay other players to come play for Detroit. Honestly, $17 million and more out of that $44 million is a lot, especially because we have a lot of holes to fill on the defensive end, we, our defense, period. We still got we need we still need pass rush. We still need to work on our secondary. I wouldn't mind still drafting or 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 picking up a safety um to help Bob uh, to help Glover Quinn out. We have a lot of holes to fill. On top of that, we still need to work on our offensive line. Our offensive line was a little bit inconsistent. Um our run game was inconsistent. We were pretty much dead last. We still have a lot of holes to fill. So with not having a lot of money to work with. After this Ziggy sign, honestly, if we can get Muhammad Wilkerson on a really good deal, why not? Honestly, why not? It, it would be a good signing if we can get Muhammad Wilkerson for like $5 million for one year or something like that. You know what I mean? So you heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Let me know what you think about this video. I'm out. Peace.